In this example, we will go through how to calculate the expectation variance and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. An engineering firm takes on several projects a year. The following probability mass function shows the likelihood that X number of projects are completed on time. So for the expected value, the expectation of X is going to be equal to the summation of each value of X times the probability of X. So in this case, this is equal to 0 times 0 0.02 plus 1 times 0 0.05 plus 2 times 0 0.10, plus 3 times its probability of 0 0.16, plus 4 times 0 0.22, plus 5 times 0 0.27, and lastly, plus 6 times 0 0.18. All right, so if we find the products of all of these, we will get... 0 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.48 plus 0 0.88 plus 1.35 plus lastly 1.08. All right, so if we add all of these together, we will get an expected value equal to 4.04. .04. So again, the expected value of x or the mean of x is equal to 4.04 .04 projects completed on time. So we would expect them to be able to finish about 4.04 .04 projects on time according to this probability mass function. All right, so if we want to find the variance of x, the variance of x is equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared. Well, we already know the expectation of x, so now we just need to find the expectation of x squared, which is equal to the sum of each value of x squared times its probability. So this in this problem is equal to 0 squared times 0 0.02 plus 1 squared times 0 0.05 plus 2 squared times 0 0.10 plus 3 squared times 0 0.16 plus 4 squared times 0 0.22 plus 5 squared times 0 0.27 plus 6 times 0 0.18 or excuse me, six squared times 0.18. All right, so if we wanted to, to take all those values, we can get zero plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.40 plus 1.44 plus 3.52 plus 6.75 plus 6.48. So if we add all of those up, we get the expression for the expectation of x squared, which is equal to 18.64. So this is equal to 18.64. And we put that into the variance calculation. So the variance of x is equal to 18.64 minus the expectation of x squared, which we found the expectation of x to be 4.04. .04. So if we square this, this is equal to 18.64 minus 16.32, which is altogether equal to 2.32. So that is the variance of x, or in other words, this is also equal to sigma squared x. All right, so if we want to find the standard deviation, or SD of x, this is simply just the square root of our variance. So the square root of the variance of x is equal to sigma x, which is equal to then the square root of 2.32, which in this case is 1.52. So this means that the number of projects completed on time deviates on average 1.25 projects. All right, and that's how you calculate the expectation, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable.